Creating a teacher exemplar. In our case, each teacher will create their own exemplar. This will allow us to compare and discuss the different exemplars from different angles. We used a shared PowerPoint, you could use any shared document, to facilitate the collaboration. This way we were each able to see the work of the other person and put it on the screen to compare and contrast what we see. The assignment to create the teacher exemplar was to write an email that was professional and solution-based. Good afternoon, Mr. Sir. I have recently become aware of the expectation of meeting with our grade level teams three times per week after school hours. I understand that the initiative is to support teachers, build capacity, and further student growth and achievement. I'm willing to do my part and assist as needed. However, the after-school expectation is a bit daunting and unrealistic. I would like the opportunity to speak with you and discuss some alternatives. Please let me know when you would be available to meet. I look forward to hearing from you. Respectfully, Beyonce Knowles Carter, Queen of the World. So here we have our subject line. We're missing that piece. All right, let's go to the next. I can use a salutation and address the recipient. Yes. Yes, we see that in this right here. And there we go. And we've addressed the recipient. While assessing our teacher exemplars using the success criteria, we found that two would be considered vague because they were hard to show if you actually mastered it, such as being concise or having no grammatical errors. We concluded that if a student was able to see the non-example of these success criteria, they would be able to visualize what success looks like. <laughs> okay, subject after school meetings. Mr. Principal, I hope this email finds you well. I am reaching out to you in regards to our after school meetings three times a week. I understand the importance of our meetings, but I am unable to meet after school three times a week due to family and church commitments. I am available to meet once a week after school because I understand the importance of co-planning. Even though we will only have one meeting, we will have an agenda and have roles in our meetings to ensure we are on task. I am available to meet to discuss my concerns and potential solutions at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, Josefina Stalina, sixth grade social studies teacher, sixth grade team lead, professional learning lead, technology integration specialist, and social studies department head. Um, so Beyonce, after we went through and looked at your exemplar, for example, did you notice some things that the kids might do? Did it uh, be very emotionally uh, attached to it? And you know, you got to remove those emotions when we're trying to be, you know, looking at our tone. 
So that's, I think that's going to be the, the biggest thing with kids. So true. And I know that one of the things that we may see if we structure this, but one of the things we will see is the, the text, the, the text, you know? So I like the fact that we are really making sure that we consider etiquette, grammar, mm -hmm. slang, names, all of those things to get away from that text tone. And um, I feel like this gives them focus. 